What's up guys and gals, my name is Splattercat and we are here today holding off the WOG from taking over our- was that too much? I feel like there was too much enthusiasm right there. I feel like I may have overstepped some boundaries. I feel like I may have embarrassed you guys. I apologize. No, it's fine. It's never too late to make orc noises. That's one of the fundamental tenets of Warhammer 40k. If you're an orc player, it is almost required that you talk in the voice while taunting your opponents. You have to. It's, it's a psychological advantage. So let's go to Typhon Primaris. In this episode, we have so much stuff to do. Well, we have one thing to do, which is not so much stuff. It is partial stuff, but it is stuff indeed. Any stuff is enough stuff for me to make an episode. So in this episode, we're going to try and get rid of Ripa Splitta. I think this will actually put an end to the wog, maybe? Actually, it may not, but actually it looks like he's going to kill a can. Great. Anyways, I think it's going to leave us it's going to lead us to the astronomic Array, which is not just an array. It's like a really really bigger No, it's a it's an array that handles astronomic stuff. So let's go ahead and do our briefing Commander we have finally located the orc who knows the location of the astronomic array This orc is a mad alien who has been fused into one of their obscene war machines This greenskin calls himself Ripper splitter and is obsessed with technology Destroy this alien walker, and recover the location of the Astronomic Array. This is our only hope of finding a critical weakness in the Hive Fleet, Commander. Alright, so we're gonna have to make some adjustments based on the bonus intelligence. It says right here, troops with anti-armor weapons will be defending this target. The generators will greatly enhance orcs, but we already knew that. But we are gonna have to shift around some people if we're gonna be engaged in... We have to bring weapons for mechanized combat, but at the same time, the enemy has brought weapons for their defense against mechanized combat. So clearly, Davian Thule is automatically out, because if he catches a rocket to the dome, that is going to be it. Which part of him is actually the dome? I'm not quite sure. He seems rather torso-y, like somebody has spent too much time at a gym, but it's okay. We're going to bring Avidus along. We're going to give him a rocket launcher in just a moment, and that's going to be our solution to that problem. We're going to bring Cyrus along as well instead of Thaddeus. This is kind of a debatable decision, but given how many buildings they're going to have, I would like to have some stealth sabotage going, and I think that's really what's going to be guiding my decision with this troop choice. With Thaddeus, we do still have the melt -a bomb so I'm going to need to take those off of him. Let's jump into our armory really quickly. And I did equip, in the last episode, you guys had brought up that I'd forgotten to equip certain things. There it is right there. I put the teleporter on our force commander so he can actually get around a little bit quicker now. Which is, it's pretty bitchin'. I'll take it. I'll definitely take a more mobile commander. With, let's see, what was I gonna do here? Ah, yes! We were gonna put the pitiless lance of the vengeance on Avatus so that he can start firing some rockets. Those rockets are actually, like, comically round. They almost look humorous. Maybe it's just me, but that rocket launcher, it's because the rocket launcher is small and the missiles are large and bulbous. I don't know why that makes me laugh, but I, I don't know. It's probably Freudian or something. Thaddeus, give us our melta bombs And then Cyrus will be our guy. Oh, he can actually use Angel of Silence now. Well, then let's equip away on that. And it's got a cape. My day just got so much better. How could your day get worse if you've gotten a cape? I mean, it's kind of like in Akira. I've always thought that the superpower that I should have, if I could choose like a superpower, is in Akira when, oh, Tetsuo, I think is his name. He gets the, uh, he like takes a blanket or it's like a towel and wraps it around his shoulders and somehow like it magically becomes a cape. I always thought that would be like the coolest ability ever. If you could just take any object, wrap it around your neck and it would turn into a badass cape. That, that seems like a cool ability to me, at least. So let's go ahead and we get a drop pod beacon. Oh, that's a pretty cool piece of gear. Got everybody taken care of. What is Tarkus using right now? Light of Salvation. Good. So that's also going to help out against any mechanized foes we come across. Let us deploy, brothers. Also, we will wade through this loading screen for Davian Thule. But as I was saying, being able to conjure a cape... Seems like it might be useful. I mean, instantly your respect from your peers would go up. Like, instantaneously, you'd be standing there like in a meeting, and they're like, well, I think we should table this agreement for now, and you'd be like, no, sir, I have a cape. And they'd be like, yeah, I totally agree with you, and I've changed my position completely. I always love those little cinematics. I'm, I'm a little, it's a little bit of a downer that I think THQ lost this license. Eliminate those orcs! 
All right, so we've got to get straight into the thick of it, like right now. Force Commander, we have no cover right now. If we can get another rocket off, though, I think we'll be all right. Let me take them, and we need to put a bomb on that building right now. That should... Oh, good knockback. That should get him. Yeah, it did. It actually got that other guy who's over there, too. And it looks like... Oh, we've got all kinds of trouble and no cover with which to shield ourselves to gird our manly space marine loins. But don't despair. That's not se that's not sexist, because were we playing the Sisters of Battle, they would have to gird their manly loins, too. So it doesn't matter. Now, I hope they're not spawning from there. Let's go ahead and get the Force Commander out here. We're going to teleport him straight into the thick of it. And we need to put him into melee mode so that he's actually punching the hell out of these guys. Have we lost any Battle Brothers or anything? Okay, good. Let me bring Tarkus up front since he's the most resilient compared to everybody else. And then I need to get everybody fixed in on this building. Force Commander needs to be ready to teleport too. Let's get him out here and have him solve some problems for us. Oh my, the utter lack of cover here is actually sort of terrifying. Force Commander, how you feeling? How you doing? How you living? He's living okay. He's living all right. I need to put them in stealth because life is getting rough for them right now. They're attracting a lot of attention. I need to put them in tactical advance. Let's go ahead and take Avidus. We're going to put everybody into suppressing fire mode. And my buttons have been rotated again. Force Commander's over here just being a bamp, like tanking the entire enemy force. Hopefully we won't have to use any heals here. Let me bring forward Cyrus and his boys. I'm going to throw a bomb right there. Oh, never mind. Force Commander got to it before we did. So let's pull them back. At least we saved the ammunition. And we're going to pull them back into this line of fire, which is pretty withering at this point. It is quite brutal. And he is bleeding a lot of his own blood right now, which is never something that I recommend for my own units. This is just wide open firefights right here. Nastiness. Let's go ahead and pull them in somewhere. Force Commander, let's teleport you out to get the attention of these guys. Avatus, I need you to handle this guy over here, or at least remove his cover. And then I'd also like Cyrus and his guys to just start firing, maybe. Yeah, we're looking all right. We do have a lot of combat going on over here, but there's not much we can do with it. I do need to bring more people out and wide to start firing at that Wog banner. Alright, Drop Pot needs to aim a little better. We drop like right in the middle of Metropolitan Orkville here. Oh good, missiles. Those are pleasurable. Who fired those? Oh, it's because of the teleporter pad. Okay, let's get the teleporter pad here. And as soon as we break this down, we should be alright. Let me destroy that thing. Avidus is taking a lot of fire right now. And who's firing those missiles, actually? There is the belching contraption. Deploy anti-vehicle weapons. RC chopper needs squishing. Oh, what is that? Is that mech is that Ripa Splitter right there? Oh, it is. Okay, so we've destroyed the encampment now. And we actually got to Ripa Split a lot sooner than I figured we would. Is just as weak and pathetic as the others. Once you crack his shell. Okay, so is it what the hell? Oh, it's him right there. Okay, I didn't see him. Force commander, remedy my problem. Punch it in the face repeatedly with your giant man fist of manly fisting. Oh good, we got stick bombs flying around too. Let's get out of here so that we don't get blown up. Oh, get away from that. Yep, we just got routed. And Cyrus is now down. I'm not sure what went wrong here, but something has gone very, very wrong. Go ahead and taunt everybody. Start putting out some grenades, maybe. Ooh, 
Wow, that is a lot of orcs. We have like nothing left to fight them with too. I'm not completely sure where all of these came from. I need Tarkus like out of there right now. And maybe he can respawn a couple bros to handle this problem. Wow, I am just, I don't even know what to say right now. This is a pretty impressive display. And I was completely and totally not expecting it either. We need to get in there and save Cyrus at some point. All right, we can take a little bit more ground. God, you think they could have a few more commandos and knobs? Wow. I feel like I broke record right now just screaming wow over and over and over again, but that was a pretty intense firefight. <laughs> we lost a little bit of bonus right there. I don't know if maybe they spawn when you finish off Ripa Splitta or what administrative task took place that caused that many enemies to run up on us. We'll have to have a look around. Maybe they have another teleporter pad, or maybe they spawn when you blow up their teleporter pad. I don't know. We timed that wrong, definitely, though. Or maybe there's another one over here. That could be the other problem. We're also out of medical kits, which is a big problem. Let's eliminate some of these wog banners, make them a tad weaker, so that they can't hang out against us. Oh, it's the wog banner, okay. Gotcha. I feel like I probably should have known that from past experience, but it's difficult. I'm playing so many games at this point on the channel that it can be tough to like catalog this information as well as all the random monkey facts I need to know for my schoolwork. That's right, I have monkey class. When you're a senior in college, you get to a point where you actually get to pick your classes and this semester I felt like it'd be pretty badass to have monkey class. So I have a class totally on primatology even though my major has nothing to do with primatology. It's pretty, it's pretty amazing. Force commander needs a minute to get his health back. Maybe eat some space marine vittles. What do space marines eat? I would assume it's probably bland and tasteful. It's probably very, very tasteless. That or it's like the blood of their enemies or like something symbolic or something ridiculous like that. These tank buses down here still just give me problems. What are you doing down here? Kill that tank buster. Do it! Alright, let's find some more wog banners around here. There's an invisible wog banner over here to the left. That seems to be the issue, it's just compounded wog banners over and over and over again. This one for some reason has no graphic, I'm not really positive why. We don't question these things. To question is heresy. For the remainder of the mission we have to destroy all further orc structures, but I think we should probably go capture the Emperor's Shrine too. We killed Ripa Splitter pretty early. I'm not paying attention so well today. I think it's because like my vertigo was acting up. I have a long running feud with vertigo. I have like, I had to go to like a doctor for a long time, like the last year or so. And they diagnosed me with this weird thing where like I grow like strange calcium carbonate crystals like deep down in my ears, but they grow like in the wrong spot. You're like supposed to have them, but then like they're supposed to be in a certain area. But for some reason mine is like mixed up and that's why I'm dizzy like 24 hours a day. It's pretty, it's distracting at times. It is quite distracting at times. Let's see here. We need to make a cut to the east because I really want to grab that shrine while I'm in the area. How can reposition? Be vigilant. Weapon brothers. So I guess we'll push really, really hard that way.
And Force Commander is going to be in on this thing right here. Whatever it is. A heavy bolter turret. I feel like they should remove the R from the back of that just to make it more orky. It should be a bolta turret. I find the extreme lack of cover on this map very, very disturbing. If I was fighting Eldor, if I was fighting the Eldar on this map, I would be terrified. I mean, fighting the orcs here is bad enough, but the Eldar have such like they have the Eldar have such a range superiority that definitely leaves you hurting. Let's throw a bomb on there. I think there was guys in there, wasn't there? Or did we shoot them out? I think we shot them out, maybe. Ah, it looks like we've fallen victim to that issue we had before. Never mind, where the units are stuck. Ooh, run away! Stick bombs, no! All I ask is that stick bombs don't stick on me, or in me. If they're really pointy on one end, I suppose they could stick into somebody, and that seems really unpleasant. Like getting stuck with a grenade. Got like a Turok situation. Although it is quite humorous to stick other people with grenades. One thing that Turok taught me. Turok hasn't had a whole lot of good games lately. That's such a great, like, lore system, and yet... Well, maybe it's just because, like, I'm partially Native American, and so, like, I really like Native American stuff. Although there is, like, an underlying rule. People say the more turquoise you wear... I'm not gonna go there. Never mind. We're not gonna talk about... It. Never mind. Let's keep rolling and take over this shrine to the Big E. Because the Big E deserves it. I would also like to call in an artillery strike right here. So I need Force Commander like out of there right now. We managed to get rid of him pretty easily. Force Commander's holding it down okay. Grab the rest of this loot. Let me get Avidus up into a position that's at least somewhat advantageous. Hey, we've got a med kit. Let's use that now. Could also really use these supply refills. Ooh, put a grenade on them. There it is. Very nice. Beat a few orcs to death. Have a merry, jolly old time. Just like a Mary Poppins-esque time. I feel like that's when the Imperium is like really at its best. Where the Imperium is most like Mary Poppins is when they're murdering and pillaging other space races. They start singing like Mary songs. No, we lost one of the Tarkies. That's weak. Tarkies, go over here. That's what I've decided to call Tarkus's men. It's Tarkus and the Tarkies. They could make their own, like, British invasion band if they wanted to. You, sir, need to leave that building. So I will shoot you. Liberally. I'm gonna shoot you quite liberally. Field generators are deploying now, Commander. Additional generators will not be available until your next deployment. We are engaged. Brothers, fire. Heading out. You still haven't gotten him out of that building? Really? Alright. Let's bring Avidus over here. If you want something done, make Avidus do it because he is clearly the manliest. Although Tarkus has a lot of facial scars, and I think manliness is purely derivative of facial scars too. That's why I'm so unmanly. I'm like a mouse because I don't have any awesome facial scars. I need to go pick a fight with like a bear or something. But not the black bears that we have around here. Black bears aren't grumpy enough. I need to go find a Kodiak and get all grizzly man with him. Try and hug him. Although... I don't know if I want the... The culmination of that film was not entirely positive. That, like, the first half of that movie was spent being like, oh, look at the bears. And then the second half, you just spent your time going, damn, that dude got eaten. What a horrible day to be him. Let's blow up this last building and get the hell out of here. Well... I think that was our last bonus deployment, so at least I hope it was. Yeah, it was our last bonus deployment, so losing a squad there isn't going to hurt us quite as badly 
as it would have otherwise if we were trying to vie for extra deployment, so that's okay. Not gonna cry too much about that. Level ups for Cyrus, very cool. People are approaching the end of their career here. And we have a lot of stuff to donate, so I'm willing to bet we could probably roll some people over into the next level. Good work, Commander. We have recovered the stolen data slate and eliminated a major orc threat. But was the recovered data of any use? It was, Cyrus. I have determined the location of the astronomic array and uploaded it onto the planetary map display. In order to recover any data on the Hive Fleet, you will need to align the array from the ground, Commander. Okay, so let's have a look at our gear here. We've got a little bit of time left in the episode. We've got things to get rid of, first and foremost. All of these, what do these look like if I equip them? Oh, they look like the one that Davian was wearing at the beginning of the game. That's so disappointing. I wish I had, like, extra magical armor that looked like that right now. Let's donate it all to the Librarium. And now that that's out there, we have the All-Seeing Truth, which is level 18. Cyrus did level up to 18, luckily enough. Ooh, better sight range? I will take it. I will definitely take it. And we get to keep our cape! What could be better? What could be better? Let's donate some of this other stuff and see if anybody else can't at least jump up to the next level. Is that the Herald of War? I don't see... Do we need a plasma pistol right now? I bet we could use a plasma pistol. He's still got Orc Killer. Let's give him a plasma pistol to go along with his farty glove of fortitude. The glove of the Imperial Flatus. Thaddeus here. Let's continue moving him down that way to get that ability because I feel like that's going to make him a lot more useful in general terms where he gets health back when he deals damage. That's pretty sweet and it's going to make me want to use him a lot more. Everything else, I feel like I haven't been using a lot of the stuff over here and I feel guilty about it. With Leomond, we want to get his next loadout slot and it's for good reason so that we can get ourselves the medkits and shoulder missiles yeah there they are shoulder missiles I finally accomplished my lifelong dream of having shoulder missiles we have combat teleporters I'm gonna give him that one since he's not shooting quite as much he's more of my melee tanky guy and then with some of this other stuff I'm gonna get rid of the lower level terminator stuff we're gonna hold on to the storm of purity and the other ones just in case we find ourselves back with a bit more terminator armor the Hand of Fury we were using before. Storm of Purity, I think, was my previous weapon, too. So we're going to keep those. How badass would it be if we could dual-wield Storm Bolters? Just like <laughs> Matrix-style, running slow-mo, dual-wielding automatic bolters. It would be pretty badass, in my opinion. Tarky, what are you doing over here, buddy? We've got some new equipment that I should run through to see if it's any good for him. But his scales of the Salamander, that was a great drop. And it's held us through for most of the game. So yeah, I don't, I don't really see anything that's... Oh, the undying aura of the Primarchs. That one might be a considerable source of joy for me, but he has to hit another level first. Nothing else looking too amazing. We do need to level him up, though. Well, what should I put it into? He's got those two maxed out. Let's see if we can get him another loadout slot, make him a bit more utilitarian. That or I could give him chain swords and bolt pistols, although I don't really want him in melee. We've got enough melee guys going on right now already, so I'll hold off on that initiative. We maxed him out as well. Let's get him a second loadout slot. These extra loadout slots just have the tendency to be amazingly useful. Just a great decision. If you have no idea what else to put points into, just always go for another loadout slot. If you're completely lost, damned, and confused. Or just lost and confused. If damned, if you've gotten your Hail Marys out of the way, and you don't have longer have to worry about being damned, then that's fine. You can you can write off being damned, but stick with the other two. Everything else is looking pretty spiffy right now, so I think I'm going to stay with where things are at. Thank you for joining me here in the Nerd Castle for another really intense episode. I kind of feel like I failed on that one pretty majorly, but we got the job done at least. I'll see you guys next time. My name is Splattercat. I'm glad you decided to stop by the Nerd Castle. See you next time, guys. Take care, everybody.